Hello my dear students, subscribers and all of those who see this video. Welcome back to our channel Smart Study Smart Work. In this video, you will learn how to use multiple sprites and conversations between two sprites in Scratch. So let's start the project. So first of all, I am taking three sprites, octopus, fish and jellyfish and after that uh, I have take two more sprite one is diver 1 and one is diver 2 they will do the conversations between them so let's the create the script for this project so first of all I am display the output of our project Okay, so this is the output of our project. So let's start the project. First of all, open the scratch application scratch.mit.edu. Click on the start creating button. Okay. So First we take the drops, click on the big drops, click on the underwater and choose here underwater one background. If you want to take underwater two background then you can take. It's up to you. Now delete the cat sprite. For, uh, okay, now we are taking three sprites. One is octopus. In the search bar, type octopus. Okay, first of all, set the octopus position and change the octopus sizes like 70. Okay, and uh, in the costume step, there are five octopus, um, and I don't want fifth one, so I'm delete this pride. Okay, now we are taking again second sprite. This one is fish. Take the face sprite, set the position of face and change the direction. Here I am taking 74. So next sprite is jellyfish. Set the jellyfish position. Set also size. I am here taking 80. And direction is 78. Okay. Now I would like to add two more sprites. So this one is our diver 2, diver 1 and diver 2. This one is diver 1 and next is diver 2. Set the positions of diver 1 and diver 2. Okay, so here we are taking total 5 sprites, one is octopus, one is fish, jellyfish, diver 1 and diver 2. So first of all create the script for octopus, so click on the octopus sprite, here in the events block, 
click on the events block and back the when I am clicked on green flag from the events block. What is the meaning of events block? It means to do something. Next, I am taking forever loop for octopus and taking next uh, wait 0 0.5 seconds so it is in the control block and take the block of wait 1 second here change the value of 0.5 instead of 1 and take the next costumes from looks block ok so here you can see here you can see octopus will changing next costumes after 0.5 seconds ok uh, now we are creating a script for fee sprite so click on the fee sprite and again take the way and I am clicked on green flag from events block after that again same I am taking forever loop here I am taking change color so it is in the loops block and take the change color affected by 25 next I am taking move 2 steps so it is in the motion block the move 10 steps and replace the value 2 instead of 10 and take the if age on bounds what is the meaning of if on age and bounds ये जो boundary आपको दिख रही है इससे बाहर फिस जाने नहीं चाहिए so that's why I'm taking the block of if on age and bounds so here you can see Okay. Now we are creating the script for jellyfish. So click on the jellyfish sprite. Again take the when I am click, click on green flag from the events block. Again take the forever loop. In the forever loop I am taking change color. change color affected by 25 again go to the motion block and take move 2 steps here take the set left and right rotation style and again take the if edge on bounce why I am taking set rotation style left and right because jellyfish यहाँ से यहाँ boundary में move करेगी तो वो left and right ही move होगी वो पूरी rotation में rotate नहीं हो जाएगी इसीलिए मैंने उसको left and right ही रखा है इसीलिए so I am run this script here you can see jellyfish will move only left and right Okay, done. Now, finally, we are creating the script for diver 1 and diver 2. So, first of all, click on the diver 1 and take 
when i am clicked on green flag from events block after that tech say blocks diver one uh, say so many aquatic animals so here in the say block type so many aquatic animals when diver one says so many aquatic animals the time diver two will respond to diver one so first of all click on the diver two click on the events block and take the when click on green flag when diver two is replying to diver one the time they will wait for three seconds and after that diver 2 is replying to diver 1 so i am taking here wait 3 seconds blow and after that diver 2 will reply to diver 1 what he is replying hmm he says like yes look at the octopus diver 2 says yes look at the octopus okay so the time diver 1 will also reply to diver 2 so click on the again diver 1 and take wait 4 seconds when diver 1 is replying to diver 2 the time they will wait for 4 seconds first of all they wait and after the diver one will reply diver one will say hey did you see the fish hey did you see that fish so diver 2 will also reply to diver 1 after 3 seconds so take the uh, click on the control block and take the wait 3 seconds and after that we will say yeah it's changing color yeah it's changing color okay so our diver 1 and diver 2 script is ready so now we are run this project our script is totally ready here you can see octopus fish jellyfish diver 1 and diver 2 we have take multiple sprites and create the different different scripts for them so finally we are run this project okay so here you can see so many aquatic animals yes look at the octopus hey did you see that fish yeah it's changing color I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video you will learn how to create your own game in scratch. So if you want more such videos and tutorials subscribe to Smart Studies Smart Work channel and tap on the bell icon. Is that way you wouldn't miss any future updates and hit the like button to let me know. Thanks for watching. Thank you.